Round 12 sees NASCAR's top category racing at Kansas Speedway. The track opened in 2001, and since 2014 there have been two Cup Series visits each year, with the spring race being run at night. For Kansas boy Clint Boyer, it's his home track, though not his happiest hunting ground. Kansas is always, it's home. You know, it means the most to you, and, and I suck there the worst. Boyer up to 22nd, and now things get a little tougher. You look over and your childhood friends are there, your grandma's there, everybody's there, the guys that you grew up racing with, and next thing you know, you start out pretty good, and as, as my weekend progresses, I just keep getting worse, and it's like, I just gotta chill out and do my thing. It's real important to him. He wants to get a win at his home track and hasn't had one. And um, it, it's been a difficult track for us and on him. It was kind of nice in the first round of qualifying the second race last year. We had him P1 at Kansas at his home track, and that was exciting. We didn't end up getting the pole, but it was nice to show we had speed and we were up there. But we definitely got to keep working on that place because I know it's special to him, and to get a win there in his home track would mean a lot, I know for sure. For Boyer's teammate Kevin Harvick, Kansas Speedway also feels like home. He set the lap record there in 2014, and at last year's spring race, he won there for the third time in the Cup Series. Kansas has probably been one of our top three racetracks as a as a group on the on the four car. So that particular night last year in the spring was one of those races where it didn't have the car quite right, and it came down to a really dramatic pass at the end and winning a race that you maybe should have, would have, could have had the possibility to win. Kevin Harvick wins in Kansas. But those are fun, you know, when you make a comeback like that and are able to pass a leader coming to the white flag. Um, those are all things that make driving the car and being on the team exciting. And that thrill of victory and, and the thrill of that pass and all the things that happen in that particular moment are what keep you coming back. For Boyer, Kansas will be a fun place to race as soon as he gets to grips with the mile and a half ovals. As a short track specialist, this is something he's working on along with his crew chief. It's part of the reason why I love this job. There's new challenges every day and it keeps my job exciting. You're always looking for a way to solve a problem or make something better. And from a, an engineer, you know, that's kind of what I strive for. It's Mike's fault, yes. It's definitely Mike's fault. <laughs> uh, no, nah, I mean, this year's gonna be drastically different than any years prior, like even Kansas Speedway. You're holding them wide open. If you'd have thought about holding it wide open last year, you'd have been on I-70, you know what I mean? He wouldn't have been in a racetrack anymore. Boyer was fastest in practice, fastest in qualifying, rounds one and two, and fastest in final practice. The goal this year is to get better on mile and a half tracks. Those aren't my bread and butter, and unfortunately, they muck up the better part of, of our season. You know, I'm a short track guy, and everybody knows that's where I get my best runs. But if I'm gonna uh, have a good year this year, we're gonna find a good balance within this new package with our Mustangs. And you're gonna see a lot of drafting, you're gonna see a lot of blocking, and probably see a little more wrecking on those mile and a half. So you gotta make sure that you balance all that as well. Whatever happens in Kansas, Boyer will remain center of attention at his home track, while Kevin Harvick will look forward to it as much as his teammates. We expect to go to Kansas and have a chance to win the race every time that we go there just because of the success that we've had in the past. It's a very racy racetrack because you can race from the, the white line all the way to the wall with that progressive banking and that's one of those racetracks that seems to have worn better than a lot of the other racetracks so um, it's just a fun place to race.